Today we're going to install this 35 litre water bladder into the 200 series. Now because this is a GX you can actually get a custom made water bladder that goes into where the rear quarter panel hollow is where the rear air conditioning would be on the VX or Sahara models. I don't know why it doesn't fit on the GXL but apparently it's only for the GX. So let's go and have a look at it. So this kit's from a company called FlexiMake. Comes with a nice set of instructions. Comes with the bladder itself. And it also comes with a heap of um, fittings, mounting screws. It even comes with its own Teflon tape and a uh, cable tie is going to be handy. And a couple of little bits of tubing here as well. So let's go and have a look and see how this goes in. So it turns out the instructions aren't actually that good after all. In fact, they were pretty much useless. They don't tell me how to do any of the installation whatsoever. Just warnings about what not to do as far as rubbing the sides of the bladder against sharp objects, which you would think if it was custom made, shouldn't actually be a problem. Not only did the instructions not show you how to install the bag itself, they didn't help you with removing the rear trim of the vehicle or any of the useful sorts of things that you would expect in a set of instructions for a custom made product. Hmm. So for those of you doing this for the first time, the first thing you've got to do is fold the rear seat forward and then remove the 17mm headed bolt that holds the rear passenger side seat belt in. Once you've done that, the clips should pull out towards the inside of the car. Once you've got the panel off, you'll actually be able to start having a look at how you're going to fit the bag itself. If your GX is equipped with reverse sensors like mine, you need to make sure that you remove the beeper from the back of the rear trim. It's just attached via Velcro by the factory and it should just pull straight off. My vehicle previously had a cargo barrier fitted, so I had to remove these mounts before the water bladder would go in. This is where it started to get a little tricky. You would think that this would be pretty simple, but with no instructions and no pictures, it was quite difficult to work out how to actually seat the bag inside of the cavity. It also proved to be quite challenging just trying to get the screws to bite into the nuts that you had to sort of hold up with the other hand behind the bag. It was Difficult to not strip the threads, to be honest. That was really hard. That was way harder than it looked. Why are you doing that? <laughs> So at this point I was only able to assume that the supplied cable ties were for the last two holes because there's not enough bolts uh, for the last two holes and there's no way to actually get into them to put the bolts in. So I just went ahead and cable tied the last two in. As far as the plumbing goes, there were more adapters and connectors than what you appeared to need and I don't know if I did this right or not. In fact, I uh, highly doubt that I've done it how they intended it to be done. But I did what seemed to be logical for me and what looked like it would work. Now you have to remember that I was going to have the drawers installed in the back shortly after this install. So I was doing the install based on the idea of having the drawers and the wings. So where the bottom hose comes out is going to be behind 
the wings of the draw system and the top breather hose was going to need to be accessible even when the drawers were fitted into the car so that I could get it out and take the top off to fill up the water tank or to empty it out. Now that I've finished installing the tank and all the plumbing, I wanted to fill it up and make sure that it wasn't going to foul on anything sharp. And I was a little bit concerned down in the bottom uh, in the center where you can see that as it inflates, it starts to push towards that little bit of a mount that's coming out. It seems to uh, fill up and actually go over that mount. And also when the interior trim is placed back on, it's going to put pressure back towards the outside of the car. So I was happy with how it was inflating, um, decided to drain the tank back out and refit all the trim. Putting it back together is pretty straightforward. It's just the exact opposite to the way you took it apart. You need to make sure that you put the seat belt back into its position, lock it in, and you need to make sure that you torque it down with something hard. Um, I used a breaker bar to make sure that it was nice and tight. And simply put all of the remaining trim panels back in where they came from. And there you have it a fully functioning gravity fed water bladder that's hidden away and uses up essentially no space.